In the world of 64-bit web browsing, there's not too much choice out there right now. You've probably seen this one already, which is Internet Explorer 9 Beta, and this is a True Blue 64-bit edition. But what about Firefox? Well, some people would be quick to say, if I can get to it, there are 64-bit releases of Firefox now. Well, sort of. If I do Firefox 64 bit and there is a place called mozilla-x86-64.com and yes it's true you can go to the download page here and get 64 bit editions of Firefox but these are as it says right here unofficial these are not from Mozilla yes they are built on Mozilla code this is true, but they're not from Mozilla directly. But if you want 3, 3.5, three, or 3.6, they do have 3.7. Don't bother with this one because it's an alpha. It's not even a beta. So don't do this one. But if you want to do 3.3, three, excuse me, 3.3.5, three, three, or 3.6 with a Windows 64 bit binary, then by all means be my guest. But is there one directly from Mozilla? Yes, there is. There is a Firefox 4 Beta 8 right now, which is officially from Mozilla, and I'm going to show you how to get it. Now, I haven't installed this personally. I plan on doing that eventually, but not at the moment. Anyway, it's uh, FTP colon slash slash FTP dot Mozilla dot org. If you've never used file transfer protocol before in the browser, it just means that you're putting in FTP instead of HTTP. There's hypertext transfer protocol, which is what HTTP means, and then file transfer protocol, which is what FTP means. So it's FTP colon slash slash FTP dot Mozilla dot org. Now this is a bit buried, so, and it's not pretty either, because this is just file directory listings. So we go to pub, which means public, and then Firefox, and then nightly. And then way at the bottom, as a matter of fact, all the way at the bottom, latest-mozilla-central. And click. And let's see. Aha, here we are. Firefox 4.0, beta 8, pre-release, English, US, Win64, installer. So, if you're brave enough to run this, because uh, it probably is unstable, reason I'm saying that, it's a nightly release. This is not, I mean, it is official from Mozilla, but it's a nightly, which means it's not the uh, final by any means. And it says right here it's a beta anyway. So if you want the official Mozilla 64-bit Firefox, it is here. Bear in mind, however, you will have to install the 64-bit Flash Player, because if you do not you will not be able to view any content that is flash based. That's okay. I'll show you how to get that too. Go to Google and search for Adobe Flash Player 64 and you'll see Adobe Flash Player 64 bit. And the second result here is labs.adobe.com slash download slash flash player 10.html. Now this is going to be important to note so listen carefully on this one. The 64-bit release players are right here. If you use Internet Explorer 9 Beta 64-bit, which as I showed you a moment ago, I am using, you need the one for ActiveX. If you use the Firefox 64-bit release browser 4.0 Beta 8, you need to download this one, which is download plugin for 64-bit Windows, all other browsers. If you intend on using both, meaning both Internet Explorer 9, 64, and Firefox 64, you need to install both of these things because they are separate binary executables. Unfortunately, that is true. And in addition, you will also have to have the Flash Player installed for any 32-bit browsers you use. So th does that mean you're going to have Adobe Flash Player installed three times? Yes, it does, <laughs> unfortunately, So, or at least twice. Because if you're using a 64-bit and a 32-bit, then you have to have the 32-bit flash and a 64-bit flash installed. If you have both Internet Explorer and Firefox 64-bit installed, that's 
one and two plus the 32 bit makes three. Yeah, kind of ridiculous. But if you dare go 64 bit browsing, yeah. You'll have to install all this crap. Now, it's not required, by the way, to install Flash to browse. But if you intend on going to YouTube at all, or any other video site for that matter, yes, you're going to need this. So just remember to go and search for Adobe Flash Player 64-bit. And, uh, uh oh, and if you're wondering whether to install this before or after you install the browser, the answer is after. Install the browser first, Flash Player second, and then you are good to go.